So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is my detox water with lemon and mint. To make this, you're just going to need a piece of lemon and a couple of mint leaves. I'm going to grab that piece of lemon and I'm just going to cut it into thin slices so it fits into my pitcher easily. I'm going to add some ice to my pitcher. I'm going to add those lemon slices as well. And I'm going to take the mint leaf as well. I'm just going to toss it into the pitcher. I find this water is really good, especially if you don't like the taste of normal water and you just need a bit more flavor so you drink more water. It does make me drink more water throughout the whole day anyway. So yes, once I'm done doing that, I'm just going to add water into the pitcher and you can store this in your fridge for hours. And when you're ready to drink it, you just serve it cold, add some ice, add the water and the meat leaves. So we're going to make my Merry Berry Smoothie Bowl now. This is so easy to make and it tastes so good. To make this, you're just going to need some coconut milk, sweetened or unsweetened, about one cup, some mixed berries as well, about a cup as well, and a third of a banana, some blueberries and some strawberries. You're just going to toss all of that into your blender and I'm just going to blend it up. You want a thick consistency so you can add more ice or fruit till you make it to a thick consistency. And I'm just going to top it off with some chia seeds, blueberries, raspberries, basically anything you want to top it up with. Next, we're going to be making my bacon and spinach omelette. This is so easy to make. Everything is so easy to make, honestly. Anyway, you're going to need one egg, about a fourth of a cup or half a cup of egg whites, some turkey bacon chopped up, and you're just going to pour that into a bowl. Add some veggies, some onions, anything you want to add really. I'm going to season it as well with pepper, salt, and maggi. To fry this, I'm going to be using my palm cooking spray and I'm just going to pour the mixture into the pan. I'm going to let it sit on low heat for about two minutes. I'm going to add some spinach as well. I'm going to cover that and I'm going to let it cook for a while. Once my egg is fried, I'm just going to flip it over like a taco and it's ready to be served. Next, we're going to be making my spicy boneless lettuce burgers. I love this so much. You're just going to need lean beef burgers or any type of beef burgers. And you're going to bake that in the oven at 325 or 350 for like 30 minutes. Once you're done, you're going to grab your lettuce I just like to cut off the edge of the lettuce because I feel it's kind of bitter. And I'm just going to build my burger. I like to use tomatoes, onions, peppers, and my special sauce, which I will be showing you guys next. And yeah, I cover it and you're ready to eat. The next thing I'm going to be showing you is my zesty chicken and shrimp wrap. But before we start, I'm going to show you guys how I make that special sauce. I take some cameroon pepper, some mayonnaise, some ketchup, and some lemon i just squeeze a bit of lemon into the mixture and i just mix it all together and that is how i make my special sauce it tastes so good especially if you like something more spicy like i do to make your wrap you're going to need some chicken and some shrimp i'm just going to season that with salt maggi pepper and i'm just going to massage it into the chicken and the shrimp i'm going to fry my chicken and shrimp because it's easier takes less time to fry and i'm going to squeeze some lemon on it as well you're going to need some peppers you're also going to need spinach now time to build a wrap you're going to grab a tortilla add spinach add peppers add chicken and shrimp your special sauce and you're ready to eat next we're going to be making a simple chicken and shrimp salad and to make this you're just going to need some croutons some grape tomatoes peppers and whatever type of salad you like to use, I just like lettuce romaine. Also going to need some chicken and shrimp. I'm just going to pour my salad into a bowl, add some peppers, 
also going to add my grape tomatoes and I would also add my croutons about a fourth of a cup I believe once I'm done all that I would just add my cooked chicken and shrimp and your salad is ready to go just add whatever sauce you like and that is it the last meal I'm going to be showing you guys is my pesto chicken and spinach penne pasta you're going to need some penne about a cup you're going to cook that some chicken and shrimp you're going to season that with salt and you're going to need some pesto sauce as well I'm just going to pour that into my pan I'm going to pour some vegetables some green peppers some red peppers onions any vegetables you want to add I'm going to let that cook for about five minutes on medium to low heat I'm going to add my cooked chicken and shrimp as well I'm also going to add some salt and some pepper i like really spicy food so i add a lot of pepper okay so you're going to add whatever seasoning it is that you like to add to your food and once that is done i'm going to add my grape tomatoes as well and i'm just going to cover that to let that cook for about five minutes on medium heat as well once that is cooked i'm just going to add my cooked pasta into that and I'm just going to add spinach as well you can also add whatever type of veggies it is and I'm going to cover that for about five minutes and cook it and it is done so you know your pasta is ready to go you just serve it and enjoy so yes guys that is the end of the video I hope you enjoyed this and thank you for watching and make sure to smash the like button and make sure to pause some of the parts of this video so you could learn these recipes to lose weight. And I hope it works for you. <laughs> Have a great day! Bye! Bye. Okay, so we're going to try the food. Let me know what you think about it. Ah! Mm. Spicy! Okay, I'm not going to show that part. <laughs>